out there, my name is Kate, and welcome back to my channel. As I promised at the beginning of this month, which is also Mental Health Awareness Month, I will be doing an update on my anxiety and the agoraphobia that I talked about two weeks ago. Now, agoraphobia is basically the fear of not being able to get out, either of a situation, of a room. It's kind of like the fear of being trapped, but very... I want to say irrational. Also, I've recently started seeing a therapist. I had two appointments with her already, and after the first appointment, my knot of a mind started to unravel a little bit. And it was so crazy how just talking to someone and someone asking like minimal questions can help you so much because they basically try to get you to unravel your own thoughts, but they like aid you in doing that. I mentioned in my anxiety and panic attack facts and my safe list video that it's good to have a list of things or places that you feel safe around. So for me, I feel safe at the dance studio I grew up at just because I've been there for so long, the teachers there have been there like since I was born or I've had them throughout the years when I was growing up. My safe song is Blue by Troy Sivan, who's also the artist that wrote these lyrics. And I've also really been loving this newer artist. I don't think many people know about him, but his name is Simmel, S-Y-M-L, or S-Y-M-L, forget it's backwards on the camera. His songs are amazing, he has a song called Better. And I think that really helps me because the lyrics, it literally says, oh, we get better. Now before I leave the house to go anywhere, I catch myself doing this subconsciously. An example that I'm going to use is going to the therapist. I tell myself that she's a therapist, she's just, just there to help me. I told her that I was going to her for my anxiety, so if I start to get anxious, she's there to help me. If I need to leave the room, if I need to leave the building, go outside, get some air, she will let me do that. She will totally understand if I need to pee while I'm there. They have a bathroom, obviously. So it's kind of just like those little things that you can remind yourself of to make you feel more comfortable. Now the biggest takeaway I want you to get from this video is to set small goals for yourself. And by small goals, I'm gonna use the example of scheduling classes at my college, telling myself, just drive there. And as soon as I get in the parking lot, okay, just park, park the car. Just get out of the car, and I get out of the car. Then just walk to the building. Once I walk to the building, I'm like, okay, just go inside. I walk inside. Just go up the stairs, because it's on the second floor. So I walk up the stairs, and I'm like, just walk to the enrollment office room. So I walk there. I think those goals really help because even though they're not very big goals, they're not really goals at all to some people, but to you, that is a milestone. I need those little stepping stones to get me there. And I think it really helps me and I think it will really help a lot of people to just set those easy little goals. Not easy, but you know. Walking up the stairs, that's a lot less scary. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like and subscribe to be notified whenever I upload. Check out my Society6 store linked down below. And thank you so much for all of your amazing comments and for watching my anxiety videos. It really means a lot to me that they are helping you. Bye.